You all know about these wonderful Stampin' Up! Stampin' Dimensionals, right? These sheets of foam double-sided sticky dots. Love them, right? Okay, but did you know that you should keep your empty sheets? I'll show you why. When you try to make something like this with this die cut from Stampin' Up! and you have this real delicate, intricate piece that you're trying to adhere, this is so great. Watch this. I'm going to turn it upside down on top of that empty dimensional sheet. Okay, I'm not using snail. Use your dotto. And when you put your dotto on the back of this very delicate, intricate die cut, it doesn't stick to the sheet, but you have your adhesive all over the back of this very intricate piece and it's ready to put right onto your card. Isn't that a great tip? It also works if you're using a little tiny strip that normally this would be too narrow to use your snail and then your snail would get everywhere. So same idea, put this down just run your dotto across there and then you have a sticky strip to go ahead and adhere on to something like that. This is a sneak peek. This will be one of my projects on my Monday and Tuesday stamp -a stack So is this one. And then my last tip, here's something I want to show you, is how to make this rhinestone in the center of the button. This is a button from Button Bouquet. So here I have some of the buttons. Here I have some of the rhinestones. This is the medium size. Here's what I did. I picked up the rhinestone brad. These are my rubber cutting scissors. And I just snipped off the back so the legs are all gone. Like that. Then I picked up my glue dots. Stick a glue dot right to the back of the rhinestone brad and then put it right in the center and to encourage it a little bit just so that it goes down into the middle I just take my scissors and I just sort of push like that and it flattens it and then it gets right into the center of the button and isn't that a cute way to embellish the card? Okay, so there's a few tips for you. Have a good day!